So here we have the Maserati Quattroporte Executive GT. It's finished off in this really nice blue colour. Uh, this particular car's got black uh, brake calipers and really, really nice exterior finishes such as these vents. As you can see, it's uh, an executive GT model. So it's only a few of these uh, actually in play right now uh, when this was made. I think there's only about a few thousand um, in production of the executive GT. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. And we've got the Maserati logo here. And as we move down the back of the car, the Maserati logo and of course the, the quad exhaust system that you'd expect to find on a, a supercar. The Maserati itself is able to reach speeds uh, between 0 to 60 in about 4.2 seconds. It's got a dual clutch system, um, semi-automatic, and it allows uh, a lot more freedom and control um, as you would expect to find in a Maserati. So here you have the interior of the Quattroporte. In this case, it's finished off in this kind of tan uh, interior. It looks a bit lighter on the camera than it actually is. It's a slightly darker cream colour, uh, so a tan. And we've got a. We just jump in to the vehicle. So we're inside the Maserati cabin. Uh, you've got a lovely steering wheel that greets you with a leather finish and a, in this case, a wood trim that goes around the around the wheel. Um, you've got a fantastic entertainment system here, which offers things such as the ability to change. You know, obviously we can watch the TV and so on and navigation, but also you've got things like sport sport mode so you can change the car's response and the kind of overall sound of it it's much more aggressive in sport you've got things such as manual and auto shifting here so as i mentioned earlier this is a dual clutch system and it's semi-automatic so you can switch between manual and automatic very quickly at a push of a button you've got stabilization control so you can switch that on and off to give it more of an aggressive drive um, and just really a really nice cabin um, you know really really luxurious a really cool way to just using this lever switch between drive and reverse uh, so that's pretty cool I haven't seen that in, in, in too many cars other than in the, the Ferraris and the Maseratis um, you've got a nice wood kind of finish and trim that runs along the, the the kind of dashboard of the car all leather so this is all beautiful leather and finished off nicely with a wood trim and you've of course got the, the Quattroporte um, marking and names I really like this vehicle I think it's um, it's one of Maserati's probably best vehicles it's the top of their fleet um, the Quattroporte um, you've got some new models coming out such as the Gran Turismo um, but this is a really stunning vehicle um, and it's it's again a really perfect balance of sports meets comfort saloon um, and there's, there's tons as you can see behind me there's tons of space uh, for passengers and so on so um, as well as of course this lovely kind of uh, Alcantara style finish on the roof uh, so this is a beautiful beautiful car um, this particular model retails at around I believe 90,000 plus uh, for this particular car um, so if you can get down to your local Maserati showroom and give it a test drive I'd definitely recommend it Exactly what you'd expect to hear from the back of a Maserati. The sound is just the sound is just literally fantastic. Um, really, really superb um, finish and quality of the car. So uh, yeah, let's take her for a spin um, and see what she sounds like on the road. Uh, so let's go. So you can really hear the rev revs coming out of the Maserati it's a fantastic machine um, and it has a lot of power 
that you'd expect to to kind of get out of this Italian machine. It's got a Ferrari engine inside it as well. It's a special edition. Uh, there's only a couple of thousand of these ever made in the Executive GT. So, a real uh, emotional machine. And it's got a dual clutch system, as I mentioned earlier. And you can see the shift paddles there, finished off in a nice chrome uh, edge, I guess, or finish. As we pull on to this straight road, you can really get a sense of the, the power in this machine. And the changes are so, so fast uh, in the Quattro Porte that I'm even struggling to, to hold on uh, to dear life <laughs> and the camera. But uh, this is a real machine. It's a real pleasure to just sit in the cockpit and watch, the, watch this machine come to life. You can literally, it's like a, it's literally like a time machine. You blink and you're literally where you need to be, uh, somewhere in the in the distant future. <sighs> so that's the Maserati uh, 4.2, I think, engine kicking in there um, as we turn off this road. Um, it's also a fantastic machine for uh, you know day-to-day -day driving as well as. You know, driving really, really fast in as Maserati. It's uh, obviously a, a petrol drinker. It will drink fuel. Um, not like the C63. It's a bit of a balance between the two. But the Quattro Porte will, you know, will, will literally drink the fuel tank dry. Um, so not fuel efficient. But I guess if you're buying a Maserati, you're going to buy it for the the sheer kind of passion and the uh, the kind of throttle that this car can offer you and then the kind of head turning nature of the vehicle. <laughs> you just never get bored of it. So that's the Maserati Quattroporte as we cruise very fast down the uh, down the road. So this is the Maserati V8 engine. It's got a lovely Maserati symbol on the uh, on the outer side of the engine. It's a 4.2 a litre engine so it's able to get a lot of power out of that V8 engine. So there you have it, that's the Maserati engine that powers this phenomenal vehicle. Hope you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, share it and like it uh, and let me know what car you'd like to see next in terms of a review. Um, don't forget to check out our Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Instagram and Facebook is The Proper London Life. So it's The Proper London Life. And on Twitter it's Prop, so P-R-O-P, London Life, all one word. So please follow us as well. Uh, and share this video, yeah. So I really hope you like this review of the Maserati Quattroporte.